Good morning, YouTube. So, this was an idea I had. I, after fixing a couple of fences, I really didn't like the metal stays that gets used on uh, H-post. That's an H-post. Uh, the tensioning wires rotted out, so I've got to replace them. I didn't like the uh, the metal stays. They 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 felt felt very very dangerous. They're under a lot of tension, and over time, they just fall out. Animals mess with them, fall out. They go to the ground. All of a sudden, you lose all your tension on your fence. There goes your H post. There goes your fence. Lovely. I had the idea. Why did we even need them? Yeah, they're used there to get the tension on. We have this thing right here called a fence stretcher. Got my line on pretty snug. Anyway, all I did was use two strands of, of smooth wire. I need to put a staple here. Don't worry, I just finished. But I pulled it tight, and it's not the prettiest knot in the world, but it'll work. But as you can see, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, very clean. No stays to fall out, to get work loose, no animals playing with a stay, knocking it loose, no one fumbling with it. And you know, if I have to tighten this up, I just go to that one knot, undo it, put some tension on it, tie it back in. Only real difference between this and using a stay is you just put a stay in here and wrap it tight. They, they just don't put them under a whole lot of tension. My first test was right here. I think it looks a little better having the wires pulled tight together. Um, I would have gone around the metal post, but you live and learn. Uh, if this knot was more right here, I probably would have brought it in right here. Just to make it look a little better, but not really needed. Would have been nice to have gotten that under a little bit more tension. But it, still, that's under quite a bit. Anyway, oh, let me take you over here to what I'm talking about. Yes, this is all the wire because I didn't want all that tension on there. This fence right here has the stays I'm talking about. It's got four stays. These, okay, for y'all that don't know what a stay is, these metal bars. You can use metal, you can use rebar. Some people use wood, which... Um, and what happens is they're literally just put in here... Then they're well, spun around, and it's just under tension. This one will be a little easier to show you. See? So as soon as someone slides that off even a little bit, whoops, going to crooked on y'all, sorry. It falls off, and that whole wire loses tension. Lovely, right? Design flaw. Well... Maybe not. People just working with what they got, right? Also, I'm not sure why on this one they put uh, tensioners on both sides when the gate's not held on this side. So it actually only needs tension on one in one direction. Anyway, poor fence is a mess. I'm fixing it. So anyway, that's my idea. If someone's got a better idea, please chime in. Let me know. Man, this is all trial and error for me. Um, I have seen other people not use stays. And it looks like they take these two wires, wrap a stay around, get it nice and tight, and then they pull the stay out. Which doesn't make sense to me, because then you've removed the tool that you used to put the line under tension. It just seems like over time it's just going to lose that tension. It's just going to unravel. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Maybe someone had a better idea and can tell me what you call this, other than an H post. Um, yeah, my knots are ugly. They're getting better, slowly. Um, anyway, y'all have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.